Okay, so, so just continuing on with our, um, you know, again, the purpose of this is, is we're, we're getting up to speed again. We're, we're flexing our muscles in terms of uh, making figures, but then also want to make sure that we can also use our uh, at least basic GIS skills and make at least a simple map. And so with the same data set. So, so, so this first part is exactly what you guys had on Tuesday. So this is you know, the background. We talked about oil spills and this is the file. Again, you can click this, download the CSV file um, uh, and all the stuff we talked about last time. Um, and then just some, some suggestions for how to work through the visualization and creating a visualization. Um, uh, and then I've added this other part, which you didn't see. So all, what I said last time was, hey, you're gonna make a figure and write a paragraph. Not much more work, but also want you to make a map, a visualization of this in space, right? So you can take that same file that you had, that, that CSV file, and upload it to ArcGIS online. So I know that not everybody is a, is a um, uh, PC user. Not everybody has ArcGIS Pro installed. You're more than welcome to use Pro if you want. but. Um, the instructions I have here are for ArcGIS Online that will work for anybody in any browser. So, so don't feel like you have to have Arc Pro or do anything super fancy. If you want to, you're welcome to, but that's not required. But essentially, um, uh, what I also want you guys to do is to just to you know, throw it in here and see if you can make a map of the oil spills. So just that. And, um, and then uh, the one thing that is funky here, though, I don't, it's, I don't know why it's all weird. I had this all formatted correctly. When I put it into uh, Canvas, it's got re gotten really weird, and it does not let me edit this for some reason, so I apologize. It looks a little ugly here, but this is I was trying to walk you step by step. The last little bit is just to help you with interpretation. That was doc what Dr. Horn was here talking to us about for a second. So um, you don't have as many options on the on the uh, online as we do in the pro and also there's some there's some other issues but so these are just some, some examples of what you can do you can do a an aggregation or a heat map or a clustering analysis but i'm not i don't want you guys to get hooked up on that because because uh, i don't really care what you do but just want you to show some pattern to the data you can you know it's up to you to decide how you want to do that um, but there isn't a, a secret map that i'm looking to see you make again just want to make sure you guys can take some data, turn it into a quantitative story, take some, some data in tabular form, make it um, you know, a map. What you'll turn in tomorrow night is one page with just, uh, you can put more if you want in, but just one data figure, one map, one paragraph summary. That's it. Okay, so I'm not trying to have a bunch of stuff. We have another lab activity, right? That the, the housing stuff, I'm going to push that till next week. So, so you don't need to work on that does not, that's not, even though that's in this week's module, I'll probably pull it out of this week's module and just move it into next week. So we don't, uh, I want you guys to finish this up. And I know that we're still getting up to speed with the logistics of our first graphs, our first map making. So do not want to distract you with doing more than just this. So unless there's some questions, um, I asked you guys to sort of bring whatever your drafts were and exchange them. So I wanted to start with you guys, just pick one of your buds and just show him or her, if you guys have it printed out, hand it to him. If not, you can just open it up on your computer and show it to your bud. You can exchange and just give each other feedback. Hey, what's good? Is it labeled properly? Can I easily read it? Is the symbol too small? Um, that kind of stuff. And then if you took a stab at your paragraph, give them a little feedback. So you just get some, some other person's take on stuff. Cool? And that's all we have scheduled. So the rest of the time, we're just working on that. Ready, steady, go. Unless you guys have questions. Questions? Okay, ready, set, go.